Hello everyone, after making the window slopes and the plasterboard sill, it's time for the surface finish. For anyone interested, to learn more about the manufacture of slopes and a window sill from drywall, see my other videos, the link to which you can find in the description or comments to this video. So, the decoration of the slopes and the window sill with the help of tiles was chosen for a reason. The interior of the room was originally conceived in the loft style, and therefore, dark grey tiles and rough wooden platbands were chosen by the customer. First, I laid the tiles on the upper slope. The tiles are cut to the desired depth and laid on the adhesive layer, smoothed with a notched trowel. The tiles are fixed to the wall with paper tape. By the same principle, tiles are laid on the windowsill. Further, the tiles are also laid on the side parts of the slopes. The tiles are laid without seams. After the tile adhesive has dried, grouting is performed. Next, I turn to the manufacture of plat bands and the end part of the windowsill, they will be made of pine boards, covered with a tinting antiseptic and a matte water-based varnish. The end part of the windowsill is made of a board with an integrated top insert made of MDF plinth. The same plinth will be installed along the perimeter of the walls of this room. A groove is made in a wooden board with the help of a manual router for the plinth. In the plinth itself, the inner protruding part is cut off. The plinth is glued to the board with liquid nails. I install the platband along the perimeter of the window opening. The vertical parts of the platband go all the way to the floor. Plat bands are fixed to the walls with self-tapping screws and dowels. Next, the end part of the window sill is installed, it is attached, on the mounting foam, and fixed to the metal profile using self-tapping screws. If necessary, the gap between the tile and the end wooden part of the window sill can be filled with silicone sealant in the color of the tile. For information on how to make a protective screen for a heating radiator, see my next videos. That's all, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, good luck to everyone and see you soon.